Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to trace the red hair gene through my family line. Let's get right into it. So here's our daughter, Karis. She is my husband's and my youngest child. We are a blended family with six children, two for him, two for me, and two together. Neither my husband nor I have natural red hair. We get asked all the time, well, how did she inherit the red hair? I could give you a simple breakdown of how recessive traits are passed down in families, but I thought it would be more fun to trace the gene through our family tree. Obviously, we don't know for sure everyone in our family who carries the red hair trait but we can make educated guesses based upon where the red hair has shown up through the generations. Before I go through our family members and our red hair relatives, let's do a brief overview of how red hair is inherited. The uppercase double R's in this illustration represent a person who does not have red hair and does not carry the trait for red hair. So if you have two parents that both carry uppercase R's, then they have 0% chance of having a child together with red hair. This is because red hair is a recessive gene, so both parents have to pass the gene to the child. If you move to the right, you'll see one parent has an uppercase RR and the other parent has one uppercase R and one lowercase R. Let's say the squares represent the children. In the first example of the double uppercase R's, all four children are non-red heads. As an FYI, in this video, I will refer to them as having dark hair or black hair since that's the case for my own family. In the example to the right with the one uppercase R and one lowercase R, you'll see that two of the kids have black hair and do not carry the trait for red hair and the other two kids have black hair but do carry the trait for red hair. This is because one parent does not carry the recessive gene and one parent does carry the recessive gene. The children with the red hair trait can pass the trait to their own children. In addition, if they have children with another carrier of the recessive trait, then those children could either be carriers as well or could potentially come out with red hair. In the third example on the top row, one parent shows an uppercase RR, meaning they have black hair, plus they do not carry the red hair recessive gene, and the other parent shows two lowercase r's, meaning this parent has red hair. If the person has red hair, they can only pass on the recessive hair trait. Thus, all four children at the minimum will carry the red hair trait. To put this in context, my husband's father had red hair, so my husband was a definite carrier of the red hair gene because that's all his dad could pass down to him. Remember, he had two little R's, so he could only pass down a little R. We will get into more of that in just a second when I trace the red hair through our family tree. Let's take a look at the examples on the bottom row. You will see a big R and a little R for each parent. This means that neither parent is a redhead, but they both carry the recessive hair trait. When this happens, the parents will have one in four chances to have a child born with red hair. In this example, you will see that one child has dark hair and is not a carrier. One child inherited a little R from mom and a big R from dad, which means they have dark hair but are a carrier. One child inherited a big R from mom and a little R from dad, which also means they have dark hair but are a carrier. And one child has two little R's, which means they have red hair. In this next example, the father is a redhead. He has two little R's and the mother is a carrier. She has one big R and one little R. 
Because one parent has red hair, the couple has a two in four chance of having children with red hair. In the last example, both the mom and the dad have red hair, so they can only pass down a little r to their children. This means the entire family will have red hair. Okay, so let's apply this knowledge to our real life example. Our youngest daughter has red hair. However, neither my husband nor I have red hair. This means both my husband and I have an uppercase R and a lowercase R. Can you guess what our biological children would carry based on the example we just went through? Well, we don't actually have four biological children together. Remember, we are a blended family, so knowing for sure which one of our children are carriers gets complicated. We know for sure that our baby girl has two little R's because her hair is red. We know that she received one little R from me and one little R from her dad. My husband and I have two biological children together. Our other biological daughter may or may not be a carrier based on the examples we went through. In our case though, we believe our older daughter Peyton is a carrier because she does have strands of red hair, just not a full head of red hair. Now this is just our theory and not based upon any scientific evidence we have read but we have noticed that the carriers in our family who have dark hair usually also have strands of red hair. I had strands of red hair throughout my life and also had red hair on my arms and legs. My husband still has strands of red hair in his beard. So what about our other four children? We don't know for sure if they are carriers only two of our six children are biological full siblings. The other four kids may or may not be carriers. Only time will tell. Any of them could potentially have red hair children in the future if they are indeed carriers of the recessive red hair gene. So who else in our families have red hair? On my side, none of my parents, grandparents, or great-grandparents had red hair. However, many of them could be carriers. We do have Irish, Scottish ancestry. I know there are lots of debates about what country red hair originated from. We have read the research or theories and they are very interesting. I mentioned the Irish-Scottish ancestry though because in the modern day, meaning as of today, Scotland and Ireland have the largest percentages of redheads. About 13% of the population in Scotland is redheads and about 10% of the population in Ireland. In addition, many more people in Ireland and Scotland might be carriers. Fun fact though. Which country do you think has the highest number of redheads? Well, that would be the United States. I wanted to bring up the Irish Scottish ancestry and stats on percentages of people with red hair because several of my family lines have Irish Scottish ancestry. However, I'm not aware of anyone on my mom's side of the family having red hair so I will only trace my red hair gene through my dad's side of the family in this video. My dad does not have red hair, neither did his parents or siblings. However, his youngest brother has two daughters with red hair, my first cousins. This means his youngest brother has to be a carrier. His daughter's mother is white, so growing up we always thought that's where they got their red hair not realizing until later that both parents have to be carriers. I remember the mom as having strawberry blonde looking hair. She most likely had two little R's and my uncle most likely was a carrier and both of their daughters also had two little R's. I know since I carry the recessive hair gene and my uncle carries the recessive hair gene, then my dad also carries the recessive hair gene. 
My siblings may also carry the recessive hair gene as well as their children. My daughter Karis is currently, however, my dad's only grandchild with red hair. My dad also had a first cousin with red hair. She grew up in the 1950s, 60s with red hair. The cousin is on my dad's mother's side, my grandma Roberta's side. Grandma Roberta had at least two children who carry the red hair gene, my dad and my uncle Wayne. Her other children may be carriers as well as her other grandkids, but those lines have not shown a red head yet. Grandma Roberta had black hair, but she must have carried the recessive gene for red hair since two of her children have red hair grandkids and she also had a niece with red hair. Grandma Roberta thus was a carrier. Some of her siblings were also carriers. My dad's father could have potentially been a carrier too. I'm not aware of anyone in his family with red hair, but his mother's maiden name was Scottish. Going back to the previous information we talked about, Ireland and Scotland have the largest percentages of red hair carriers. If my paternal great-grandmother had Scottish ancestry, then she could have also been a carrier. My paternal grandparents had five children though, and none of them had red hair. Their daughter did, however, have freckles, and red hair is often associated with freckles. My Aunt Pam could also be a carrier. Her children and grandchildren could be carriers as well. Although on my side of the family, I'm only aware of my dad's first cousin, two of my first cousins, and my daughter having red hair, there are most likely many more carriers in the family. I am sure we will see the red hair appear again in upcoming generations. On my husband's side of the family, his dad and his uncle had red hair. Their mother had black hair, but she had to be a carrier of the gene since her sons had two copies of the recessive red hair gene. They received a little R from their mom and a little R from their dad. If you have been following our ancestry life stories, then you know that we have some questions about their real biological father. Go check out the Ancestry Journey playlist to catch up on that. What we do know though is their father either had red hair or at least carried the trait for red hair. My husband's family, like mine, also have had redheads in previous generations. Grandma Ruth didn't have any grandchildren with red hair, but she does have one great-granddaughter with red hair, our daughter Karis. And I'm sure we will see the red hair show up again in future generations. I hope this helps explain how red hair is passed down in families. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I focus on discovery, lifestyle, and inspiration on this channel. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the post notification bell if you would like to see more content. I will see you again soon.